Good day everyone and welcome. Before we start, we have a disclosure. Please be aware of risk in the future trading. We strongly recommend for you to be educated before you start using real money. This is a very serious matter. Before we start cover any auto trades, we have a bunch of news here. We need to... This market today really took a really strong dive and um, as we to our members uh, and here on the uh, YouTube on the other channel as well uh, we have mentioned uh, that uh, this first quarter in my last 27 years here in the trading uh, this year is going to be the most critical year with the trading where as we said to our members on Monday and uh, we talk about stocks and we named the the stocks and everything but we cannot have this privilege here on uh, youtube to um, pinpoint which is stock and all this i don't want to get into this uh, to the public uh, but uh, as we said on monday uh, webinar uh, that there is some stocks they used to make money for the last 20 years uh, now I want to short it out this year and I didn't even have time to position myself on the short but I will be keeping my eye on it to short out some of the stocks it will uh, be time after 20 years to take a short position and then you cover yourself with a, a double uh, on, on the long position where you know where all those stocks right now they're gonna double up by the end of the year the translation of this conversation have a strong impact on your uh, ES, S&P and your Dow Jones and your Nasdaq. So, as we said, uh, this year is going to be a rough ride for the future traders. The ones are uneducated. They're going to be out this year, guaranteed. They're going to be out of their whole game here. And uh, this year, it will be people uh they uh they, they're not taking uh, uh the stock market serious whether you are a forex trader and uh or a future trader or even a crypto this year if uh if uh, amateur trading not taking this business serious and he's, he's just keep thinking with this attitude turn on the auto trade and this is not his problem you're gonna have a lot of problems my friend so uh, this is a really um, uh, concerning because before I start with the auto trades just bear with me one second uh, the best indication that's okay to take five minutes of your time the best indication or indicator or signal in the market is the ES S&P and uh, we had the short signal sell and 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 the market has been running for many days sideways below that line here this is not a, just a normal line the things is with this what what i'm worried about what is what i'm concerned about the farther the farther the the bar is away from that line the stronger the trend is And the market is going to continue dropping until that line meet with the bars and that is what i'm looking at it's not over yet and the sellers they are way over the buyers and when you see the chart blinking this mean more short sellers coming into the market and and for the ones uh they they understand if you see how it's blinking in here for the ones they understand the market structure uh, it will be the best year for them in the trading uh, for the ones uh, don't have a background uh, they are going to be dead meat uh, in this market and uh, the volatility as we predicted on the first day you gotta fast your seat belt we are going for a very very wild ride this year 
it is a benefit to others is going to be the best year trading for others and is going to be a nightmare for the other people are not taking uh, trading seriously they think it's a slot machine you just uh, turn on a coffee machine and then the money start coming out from the other side so those kind of people uh, 75 percent of them that will not be available for next year so this is I don't want to go through the news and all this but it's going to be a lot of bad news this year and it's some good news on some other companies and some companies that will double up despite the corona despite the the, the inflation despite uh, printing out money and all this and the deflation and all this there is a lot of confusion in the market on all section and and um, and um, and it is going to be wild right as we predicted we always do that on the first of the year and uh, the financial sector uh, is going to new era with that and and uh, and uh, if you understand the market and you you understand the algorithm every 18 months the algorithm get twice as fast every other year the algorithm on the trading double up the speed of predicting the market so sadly those people with a very basic knowledge and uh, they're coming with one indicator glue auto trade on it and call auto trade like ATRs like these uh, those are 25 years old 27 years old uh, they are just as good as 20 years behind what's going on and uh, we wish them good luck and um, as always uh, like when you're racing a kid he make a mistake and then he learn and then he grow with the age uh, before we start uh, uh, taking any uh, showing any auto trades uh, we're gonna cover the market analyzer the market analyzer have five different automated trade pullback pullback re-entry ATM strategy full automated and all is based on signal and fib line we don't need to trade all of it but this is here is based on one contract the market analyzer is based on one contract the sale on the ES on the last entry signal not the whole day here is the entry signal is right there 171 takes 2137 based on one contract the Nasdaq we had a sell entry right here based on one contract 786 takes nine three thousand nine hundred dollars the YM here is your sell entry the sell entry on that automated trade 359 takes 1800 base on one contract let's say you don't have money to trade all of it you only have money for one ES Nasdaq and Dow Jones you don't need to trade all of it that's 170 ticks on the ES base on one contract 800 ticks on the Nasdaq and 364 ticks on the YM base on one contract let's say you have the most expensive broker and you have 1000 here 1000 here 1000 here to trade one ES one as a Nasdaq and one Dow Jones right next to the stakes you will see the amount of profit on each instruments it's right in front of you I don't need to to say anything anymore about that uh, let's um, um, uh cover the uh, institutional i'm not gonna make a long one we are just gonna look at the small snapshot uh today and uh because i want to cover something also on the uh, ti7 uh we will start with the scalping mood we have a scalp which today is actually uh, swing trading the scalping mood the three minutes 
the 30 year treasury bond we show the same chart every day the 30 year treasury bond three minutes which I have covered uh, yesterday and um, uh, is as we we talked about is a very stable uh, instrument you need to take it seriously three minutes ES 1400 uh, Nasdaq scalping uh, 39 second 1000 and then uh, a seven range 1000 uh, ES five minute 2000 CL 12 range 1500 ES three minutes 1100 is a different uh, and 170 ticks I always highlight the 70 ticks 170 ticks they all started exactly at 930 and took the first trade at 936 and it was done uh, by 941 I love that uh, I don't care about the PNL I like to be in and out done before 11 o'clock actually so we started all of them at 930 and this one it was finished at 945 941 so that was 11 uh, minutes in the market done over uh, Nasdaq 275 done by 1141 uh, that's what I like this one here is done by 12 o'clock this one here is the CL three minutes uh, some of them we did go on two rounds uh, this one here 11 11 1675 beautiful perfect this is what I want to highlight uh, where it's not the PNL is this one here it took a trade took a trade here is fine this this area here gentlemen is a bad news for any auto trade is a bad news for every auto trade so when you are using a dummy indicator like an ATR like these you will bump into this and you heavily lose money the auto trade avoided on 28 second chart so that's why the smaller time frame work on the precision auto trade because when you are using a dummy indicator he will be taking short long short long short long and you'll be out of a lot of money in here the auto trade avoided this area predicted ahead of time and look at this ahead of time so that's why I don't want to look at PNL I want to look at the, how the market is entry and how the auto trade took that trade and it was perfect exit not even me myself can time the market in here I cannot time it the market here I probably will time it here on a manual trade but to time it ahead of time for me as a manual trader I cannot do that but maybe I will time it somewhere around that area here on the red bar if I want to take a manual trade but the auto trader predicted ahead of time and and probably I couldn't I would not be able to exit here probably I will exit here because I'm gonna give it space so the auto trade over trade me on this one here Uh, also scalping I'm not gonna kill a lot of time on those uh, CL and um, Nasdaq three minutes uh, Nasdaq three minutes uh, three minutes 1700 and uh, ES 30 second also uh, did 1000 but what I want to show you uh, something today that no matter how much you cover yourself uh, with um, no matter how how much you can be prepared sometimes the market can surprise us which that's what I told you um, that always the market surprise us and it did today surprise me let me show you what surprised me with uh, the first time I turn it on we nailed two thousand dollar and then I reactivate it again and then this is what I was covering yesterday it was a really chippy choppy ta -ta -ta -ta, was not making money and then around 1230 took it took the trade and nailed 5400 on that trade the previous trade for 2000 is somewhere around that area here it took a small trades and nailed that the, the, the 
2,000 and plus 5,400. But forget the 2,000 because we cannot see it, so we'll stay on the 2,000. But what really today the market surprised me, I'm going to show you. Because to, usually I, I start the auto trade around 9 o'clock, 9.15. Today I did not. Today I really did not. And, um, and I missed a big trend uh, on the ES uh, because at the beginning I didn't think we're going to, we, I mean, I didn't think it's going to really, uh, uh, it's going to go uh, drop that much. I didn't really pay attention to it and it surprised me that I missed a big trend on the uh, high time frame uh, with the ES, which no matter sometimes what we do, uh, it's always the market somehow, sometimes it's always the market one step ahead of us. And um, nobody predicted today we're going to take that much uh, a dive. Uh, I was expecting volatility, but it is, I was not expecting that much. So uh, first let's cover what uh, we still have in the trade, what uh, opening position we still have. We have the CL five minutes. We still in a trade with a trailing stop, and this one based on a five minutes. We have the CL on nine range, still going, with a trailing stop. On this one here, uh, this auto trade, uh, you can avoid the trailing stop, and by putting zero on the trailing stop. The auto trade keep on the same trend until it's done and it close automatically without a trailing stop. The gold four minutes is uh, right now fifteen hundred, and this one here with a trailing stop. So you can use a trailing stop, and some people have a problem to set their trailing stop in a smart way. If you don't know how to set the trailing stop, then what you can do, you put a zero on the trailing stop, the automated trade will take over. We added this feature uh, in the auto trades for people who want to catch something like this. And it's not the PNL again. We're not talking from, we're talking from power. We're not talking from weakness. If you notice between that trade all the way to here, the auto trade did not even bother to take a trade. That's what I like about auto trades. To exit and not to take a trade in a flat market. The most enemy for any auto trade, flat market. And this is what I call, not the PNL. The PNL today 5,000, tomorrow 100, day after tomorrow minus 1,000. It doesn't matter the PNL. The accuracy in the auto trade avoiding this. This is clean up accounts. For people do not take it serious, what I'm saying right now. When you auto trade and you lose your account, you look at your chart because it was a flat. This is what it's all about. Precision timing of entry is the most crucial on the auto trade, not the PNL. In any given trading system or any trading forex future, whatever stocks, you will have a bad days and a good days. But the things is how to avoid this. This is what the gold mine in the auto trade is not like. How much you think uh, I will be making next month? I don't know. I don't know how much I will be making tomorrow. But I know one thing, that five minutes ES can build me out of a trouble. This is the most important. This is the most important that my account will not be cleaned because of a flat market in certain areas. And then we have the CL five minutes still going. Russell 6 range, NASDAQ 2 minutes, 
yes, three minutes, 3,400, because I don't run them all day long. I want them to finish as soon as possible. The, the problem is we got delayed on that all the way till 2.30 because of those two losing trade right there. And guess what? Welcome to trading. Nothing we can do. We had three losing trade right after the other. Four losing trade. <laughs> Four losing trade right after the other. And then it happened, you know. And then and then we took that trade and we finished with the 3,475. So it was a delay finishing that one and it did finish very well. And this is exactly what I was covering yesterday on the yesterday video, that sometimes we have to take the pain surviving the market on a small on a small stop loss. Because of that, sometimes you get hit one time, two times, three times. And if the stop loss is very high, you no longer can continue trading. You start panicking. So here is the secret with auto trading is sometimes you get hit like this one here but we need to stand still and survive take the beat and uh, wait till our timing and when our timing come we cover all the losses and then a plus 3475 so this is exactly fall into what I was saying yesterday that the cost effect uh, on your um, uh, on your uh, surviving until the market start uh, spiking and then we can catch the big trend once the big trend is over there is nothing left anymore so uh, Nasdaq uh, finished beautiful the gold has been doing very well the gold 1475 smooth right 14 second again look at this here there is no trend the auto trade did not respond it you see no filter this one did not respond it when the market wanted to trend he was ahead of time on the pullback look on the pullback re-entry finished done that's what I like this is a perfect I love that trade and I love the way the auto trade avoid disaster this is disaster for a trained eye trader yeah he knows what I'm talking about for amateur trader I'm what I'm saying is rubbish that's fine I accept that and then they learn later uh, CL three minutes 1470 13 range YM 1800 28 second CL five minutes and uh, all of the you know uh, all of them they were on the scalping mood because um, they still on under the setting uh, before New Year Eve because uh, before New Year Eve uh, scalping so now we need to start uh, open a little bit the nut and uh, start readjusting all those auto trade for a big swing trade and, and which we will I want to say thank you very much folks I uh, uh, wish you the best and please be careful when you're trading and take trading very serious matter. Thank you very much. God bless you all and see you another day. Bye. We'll see you tomorrow on the, on the other channel live. Bye for now.